Welcome to Gabe's Cave. I'm Darren, and I'm here today with Colt, a good friend of ours and a local here and sometimes works at the shop. Uh, but before we get started today, let's thank our sponsor. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com. Make sure you check them out if you're looking for a new career. They're building people, changing lives. Today, we're going to be dispelling like one of these favorite myths. Is a can better than a bottle version of the sodas that we drink? Do you think, all right, all right, your opinion right now. Do you think the actual quality of the soda is different? Or do you think that the glass versus the can is the biggest factor? Well, one of them uses like a fake or whatever sugar, like a, and then one of them uses pure cane sugar. So yes, I do believe the bottle is better. I think the bottle doesn't let off any kind of weird taste because if you've ever watched videos where people like dissolve the can, it's like an aluminum can, um, but it has like a plastic bag on the inside too. So it's like you're drinking a Capri Sun inside of a aluminum can, but it's still, I don't know, it tastes manufactured, whereas the bottle one. Well, we I, think it tastes manufactured. It, we think it tastes manufactured, but right. the bottle one to me tastes better, but I also think it tastes better because of the pure cane sugar. I'm wondering if there's a huge difference or if we're going to be able to tell back here or if this just makes fools out of both of us. It very well could because um, we were talking a minute ago. Oh, we didn't even talk about what we're doing here today. Did we talk about what we're doing here today? No, I don't think we did. No, I didn't. The topic today, the topic is we're literally testing the difference between ca uh, a can of soda and a Mexican bottled pure cane soda. Um, why, you ask? Because we can. Because we thought it would be funny, and we've talked about it for a little while now. And uh, I, Gabe's Cave is your number one resource for this random kind of stuff. It is. It really, I mean, like, you want to know about something off the wall that nothing matters about? Questions to the life, the universe, and everything. And yes. today, it's over the can versus bottle. It is, indeed. And uh, we were talking about earlier, back to what we were having a little conversation here. Uh, I don't like Coke, uh, but I will occasionally drink a glass bottle Mexican soda. This is what we're going to call them today. Mexican sodas because they are manufactured and bottled in Mexico with pure cane sugar. Right. Um, I do like the Mexican Coke versus uh, the American canned Coke, which I don't like. I think, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I'd say maybe in my mind. We're going to find out today. I am a huge fan of all things Coke. Coke Zero, not Diet Coke, uh, but I don't consider them in the same family. Not personally. at all. No. No, Diet Coke what, is gross. What did you do there when you made that? Coke I don't know. Coke, Coke Zero is like you're getting a little closer to it, but... Props to you guys who made the Zero and like made up for the errors that were made when they originally made Diet Coke. Yeah. And the people who like Diet Coke. I don't know. I couldn't what, tell you. What are they made out of? Carbon monoxide? I don't know. I think I'm a sommelier when it comes to these soda pops. I'm not a Somalian. <laughs> Um, I'm not known to pirate things. <laughs> um, Let, let's give it a whirl. Let's give this a shot. Let's give this our best. So these are random, by the way. Uh, the way this is going to go, they're going to... Alejandra, our awesome editor, is going to bring us um, some drinks today. They're going to be random. I wrote the list down, and she's going to pick a cup with a number on it for each of them. And we're each going to get the same. So like, if it's one or two, one is going to contain... Both one cups will be out of the same can or bottle. Same for two, uh, and we just have to make our guess here. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started with round one, and we'll find out what it is whenever it's brought in here to us. Okay, so looking at the color, it looks like we have a slight difference. I don't, I don't know if that's going to play too much of a part in it. I don't know if it's my brain messing with me. Let me flip it. over on the other sides. I feel like I'm cheating. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm cheating because I drink Fresca, American Fresca in the can mm -hmm. regularly. That That's a go-to for me. I keep it at my house. I keep it here at the cave, I'm which is just carbonated water. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Which is just carbonated water with, with a hint of grapefruit. Um, but they smell the same. They do smell the same. <laughs> and, and I've never poured one out, so I don't know. Now I have the world's poorest sense of smell. I don't know what yeah. they look like, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to go with one first. Ooh, I have a clear winner already. Oh, yeah, I don't have to try the other one. Mm -mm. I, I don't have to try the other one. I'm going to, but... No. I. Let's see. All right. What? My number two tastes way better. <laughs> I could phrase that a little Wait bit a different. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Number two... <laughs> I don't know now. Number two is fantastic. This is <clears throat> this is the good good. Number one... Mm-mm. I feel like our number two here 
is the superior brand. Yep. Number two is the bottle. I, I don't know what I'm doing now with my life because, man, I drink these all the time and I don't know the difference. And the crazy thing is one of these is sugar-free carbonated water and the other one is an actual soda. And I can't tell the difference. And for people who are like, oh, American Fresco is gross. You're crazy. I'm going number one is the bottle Ooh, risky. with the sugar. Risky. And I'm going to go with the canned Fresco that I drink all the time is the more opaque, not as sugary All right. can. Well, I didn't want to hurt Darren's ego this early into it, but it looks like... <laughs> We're going to find out in just a second is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Which, all one right. is, all right, which, okay, which one is the bottle? Which one is the bottle? Drum roll. Number two is the can. Ah! Oh, no! I'm hurt. I'm wounded. So this is a the bottle of Fresca here. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. green bottle here, and it is 54 grams of sugar. Whoa, it's got the good good. 200 calories. It is loaded. And that bad boy right there. And here is the can of Fresca, and this has zero calories. And no sugar. Cheers. Yeah. So round two is uh, is Orange Fanta, and we're going to try them here and see which one's which. You got number one? What do you have? I got number one. I, number I was going to try okay. it first. All right, here we go. Solid, solid. It tastes, tastes like childhood right there. Tastes like Orange Fanta. Mm-hmm. All right, here comes number two. <clears throat> mm, they're different. They are they're, different. You're not going to change su- my mind. It's such a subtle taste. <laughs> you're not going to change my mind. Those are different. Those are straight up different. But I think I think clearly I like two more, but I'm willing to bet that you like one more. I don't know. I got to try it again. I, I think didn't I, get enough of it. I think I'm a dirty can drinker. Can I say that on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. You I can. Th- I think I'm a dirty can drinker. I I don't think this is okay. This subverts so much of what I knew about myself. I'm gonna go with my gut here. I'm gonna say number two is coming from the can, just because I'm scared. Are you gonna say bottle? Uh, number two is a bottle. All right, all right. Number two is a bottle. We're opposite again, aren't we? Yeah. Or number two is a bottle, dude. Yeah, you're either gonna be two for two or a draw. <clears throat> we could be dirty. <clears throat> Sorry. Can drinkers. Mm. It hurts. Number two is the bottle. Ooh. <sighs> Number two is the bottle. I'm two for two now. Okay, I may have been wrong there, but at least I'm not a dirty can drinker. Right? You do. You, hey, right? you did like number two better. You know what? You did like number two I better. will take a win when I see it. That's a dub, even though it's not a dub. That's a dub. For anybody that didn't know... Uh, Fanta was actually created by um, the bad guy in World War II that ran um, Europe with the Axis powers with a little funny mustache. I won't say it on here because YouTube likes to take stuff down. Wow. I'm not immediately seeing a difference. I'm not seeing a difference at all. Like... I, I see a very faint difference. Like one has like more of a white kind of halo to it. Like visually, I can't I can't see much of a difference. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I think it's the light. Maybe in here one is a little bit brighter, but like that's just placebo effect. I'm gonna try. I'm starting with one. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that was better than I thought it would be. That has a little bit of different aftertaste. Number two does. Yes, it does. Do you think number one is sweeter? I think number one's a little smoother. But that's what the Sprite's notorious about being is not smooth. I think I know the difference already. Yeah. I think I got this. I'm saying two is can. I'm with you. One is bottle. Yep. Two is can. Number two was the can. Nice. Yeah. Glad I write that time. I'm on a, I'm on a winning streak here. All right. Dude, what a champion. I. You're making the people of Somalia really proud. I am. I hope you're in an area um, where you can actually acquire a bottle soda made in Mexico, and hopefully you're in an area where you can try it because they are better. And uh, you're not going to con- you're not going to change your mind because as of right now, I've been bottle right, and I think the bottles are the best. 
All right, and we are on our fifth and our fourth and final. I'm tripping. Our fourth and final round here. This is your favorite drink. Oh man! All right. This is my least favorite drink. Man, I I just I love me some Coke. Regular Coke. These look the exact same to me. I see the nearly the same amount of bubbles. Yeah, this this is such a tough. Tough call of visually. Let's um, see. All right, More number opposite. one. All Let's right, go. Delicious. I don't like Coke. I'm thinking can with number one. Okay, two. I gotta settle the palate for just a second. Two. It lingers. Oh yeah. Oh, easy dub. Yeah. I'm not, I, don't need, I don't need any more yeah, sips in that. No, two two is the bottle. Mm-hmm. Don't need any more sips in that. Yeah. Two is better. And this is what I said. I will occasionally get a bottle of Mexican Coke if it's here. At the, we keep we keep these at the cave, actually. But I don't like Coke that much. But I'm just, every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? I'll have a Mexican Coke. Yeah, this is bliss. Just the Mex- uh, And the bottle Coke is so much better. We bottles, know the answer. Bottle's already. number two. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. No! You're lying. No! You're lying. No! 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 You're lying. Shit, no! Let me see the paper. No. I'm not drinking Coke anymore. No. I'm done. This is my last show. I'm Thank you. I'm not drinking Coke anymore. That is terrible, man. I know I didn't like Coke in the first place. Hit me that bottle right now. Can better? Is it can better? No, because I drank it out of the bottle. It tasted <laughs> oh, so much God. better. All right, so I'm. I'm. This hurts the worst. Yeah, that sucks. This hurts the worst. I thought I would know the difference. Really, uh, I really did. I mean, I got the other ones because they were no, they were noticeably sweeter. Yeah, they were noticeably sweeter. Yeah, but this isn't a fruit drink anymore. You're right. It isn't. Right. It's a soda. I, I think we went in or with cola. some misconceptions. I think the other sodas threw it askew. So technically, it's not a loss. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching us do this today, and hopefully you live close enough to a place where you can get these. Go try it yourself if you haven't, and come back and leave some comments in the comment section. I want to know everybody else's opinion on this and if you think we're crazy. Let us know. Please let us know if you like this random type of video, because I already have an idea for another type of soda show or something random like that, and I enjoy doing these. So we hope you enjoyed it, and we're going to go right on to this week's giveaway. Uh, We're giving away Logan Monette's cards. We're going to run you some winners real quick pick my nose now right if you want to okay cool So congratulations to the 10 winners and the loot box for Logan's cards. We hope you enjoyed those. I know they were awesome. We had a lot of people that were really excited about them. I had some people come in the shop and even tell me they were excited about them. And we'll go right on to this week's spotlight, and that is John Bruce. We hope you enjoy the interview with John. How's it going? We're back with another segment of Meet the Artist. This week, we have John Bruce. How's it going, John? That's fine. How are you? Fantastic. I, I, we're really excited to have you on, uh, on your first time with us. Uh, fantastic cards. We were really excited when we got these in the mail. Just, just, just stupendous art. Thank you very much. It was uh, fun to do them. Uh, I guess the first question is, uh, you know, we always give artists free reign to do what they want. And I, and I just want to ask, why did you choose what you chose? Um, well, let me see. Uh, I think the screen trailer had just dropped, and I quite enjoyed drawing Ghostface. Um, and as uh, I've said in the past, uh, whenever I get to do 
cards that I have free reign on. It's usually stuff I haven't drawn before. Um, so that's why I thought, well, why not James Bond, uh, Bubba Hotep, Bruce Campbell, my big Bruce Campbell fan, um, Jane Silent Bob, um, big fan of the Kevin Smith and the Clerks animated style. And I hadn't drawn either Tom Baker or Sloth and the Goonies before. So it was just a, a little chance to, to cut loose a little. Well, it's, it's definitely a good mix. I know our viewers will be excited to uh, to win these cards. I guess the next question we have is, uh, uh, what what is your what are your tools of the trade when making these cards, and, and what's your process? Um, well, it's all getting the the, the correct uh, photo reference first of all. Um, and if we can't find any sort of good sort of photo reference, um, action figures come in really handy. You get some really good high-res pictures of action figures, um, hot toys and sideshow and all that kind of stuff. Um, and as for what you used to create, whatever's at hand, really. Um, pens, pencils, crayons, if I get the desired effect. Um, just whatever is at hand, really. So uh, the different tools that you use, what, what's your go-to brands for those? Um, no particular brand as such, just um, whatever I can get as cheaply as possible. Um, no, I usually uh, research. Um, I'm a member of uh, several sort of um, artist groups on, on Facebook, and it's just a case of sort of researching what are the best tools to use. Um, and right now, pencil-wise, I'm on the, uh, the BIC uh, 7mm HB2 pencil. It's, uh, it's, it's a really good pencil to use. Um, but pen wise, just whatever I hear is a, a good brand out there. And how would how long would you say it takes you to complete each card on average? Um, it really depends from card to card. Um, for instance, if you see the screen ghost face, that's mostly just a couple of different colors on there. So you've got a red background and you've got the sort of solid black. So that doesn't take as long as, say, maybe a, a Tom Baker. A Doctor Who card where you have to sort of blend in the skin tones a little bit. So cards can take as little as 40 minutes and up to as long as two, two and a half hours, just depending on um, what desired finish I want to get with it. Just fantastic cards. And, and if, say, someone doesn't win, um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely try to send them your way. But I guess the next thing is do you have any uh, current or ongoing projects you want to talk about? Well, I'm currently um, working on Ultraman for uh, Richard Parks. This will be the fourth batch of cards I've done. I do sort of 10 cards from each time, and he asks, do you want to come and do some more cards? I say, sure, why not? So Ultraman's what I'm working on just now. Uh, I'm just waiting to hear back from Tops, hopefully today, regarding a new uh, Star Wars set. So that should be the next um, sort of month or so for sketch cards. And then in between... I do the occasional um, sketch card here or there. Uh, just, you know, something fun for myself. If somebody wants to buy it, even better. Say someone wants to get a commission from you or just wants to just see what you're up to in general. Where can they find you at? Uh, they can find me on uh, Instagram at, at I'm John Bruce or on Facebook, uh, John Bruce Art. Um, they can find me over there. Uh, usually, I, I post all my stuff on on Facebook as cards are getting released, all on a one -er, and then I'll usually release them in drips and drabs uh, on Instagram, maybe one or two uh, a week, just to keep the feed interesting. Fantastic! We really appreciate you coming on and speaking with us, and we just we can't wait to give these cards away. And uh, once again, thanks for coming on. That's no problem at all. That's great. Thanks for having me. We hope you enjoyed the video there with John Bruce. Awesome cards. I know you're looking forward to them. And if you want to know how to win one of these cards, all you have to do is click that first link in the description. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Fill out that first link. Make sure you fill it out properly because you're only allowed to fill it out one time. And we want to be able to mail it to you because this is all free. Every bit of it is free. We like you to leave comments and like videos just so, you know, more people can see it and uh, watch the shenanigans and have a chance of winning some awesome cards as well. And other than that, I mean, that's it. We'll see you dudes next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say we're leaving yet. Oh, okay, fine. I don't know how this works. This is my second time.
Well, d- also, let us know if you like Colt. Because uh, if don't you give, didn't know don't this, don't give an honest answer, please. If you didn't know this, Gabe has gone to college, and I need a second person. And Brandon runs the shop, so he doesn't have time. So I may have Colt on here a lot more. I'm uh, new Gabe. He's the new Gabe. Um, <laughs> other than that, yeah, we got to thank our sponsor one more time. That's the last thing we do there. Is, gotcha, uh, so man. thank you, RPG, for letting us do this random stuff here with the sodas Just and whatever we want to do. Rookie mistake on my part. Yeah, rookie really. mistake. That's right. It's okay. It's okay. How did you feel about today's episode, Colt? Hurt. Hurt. I like the one word. that You, you really are the new game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. And uh, have fun.